Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day of only positive vibes. Guys, we're back with another Road to Diamond video, and today it's going to be the Amex. But before we continue on with this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring this video. Again, they've been really supportive for sponsoring this series, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's continue on. So this time, we're going to do a different format. Rather than do just me ending the intro and then continue on with a bunch of clips, I'm actually going to give you guys the rundown to how I actually unlocked it. I think this way it's going to be a little bit shorter, and that way you guys can kind of follow through rather than just me having a bunch of side uh, episodes in quotation marks so the different thing about this gun in comparison to other guns is the fact that you do need 600 kills also headshots require 80 so that's a little longer than most of the other actually 100 headshots apologies 100 headshots so it's a little longer and more than other guns but we did start it off by doing the hip fires and no attachment i believe those go really well together especially when you play on shipment i didn't get that kill oh i got a headshot that's good that's good Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Where's the enemy? Over here, over here. Gotta reload this. I didn't get that kill, bro. What kind of mad lad BS is this? Nice headshot. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna reload. Nice. I'm cracked! Ah! Please, please, please! I need to get killed! Aw, oh, man! Once we were done that, we decided to go for our long shots. And you only need about 80 in comparison to snipers, which is 120. And I personally like using it on high rise and kill confirm. It's my go to. It's kind of hard to use other maps because the long shot range is longer than an SMG or an LMG. But we did manage to do it off on this map. We did have two choices. Our first choice was using the lowest recoil build. This one worked out. It wasn't the best because the recoil is not that great at the long range and the damage is okay. Those are not long shots, are they? Dang it. No! Yeah. Those are long shots, right? Those are long shots. Yeah, there we go. We're getting some long shots, boys. Let me get these. Oh yeah, get beamed, kid. Oh. I just try to get long shots, dude. Like, I don't care about whether we win or lose. Get beamed, kid! And then on the next game, we decided to use the M67 ammo round. And surprisingly, it did a lot better, especially since we're doing headshots at the same time. Let me get these headshots. Two headshots, I love that. Also some long shots there. Nice headshot. No, come back. Oh, that wasn't a headshot. Right? There's no way these guys are... Nice. And next up, we had to do the headshot. The headshot was not that bad, but it was long because you actually have to do a hundred of them. But we did manage to do it on a couple maps and finish it off. Here is like easy to contest because you can just stand there. Nice. That first one wasn't a wasn't a headshot. That's really bad. I think if you use it like right on the point, it could be really good. Like if you use it right on the point as you push in, the dogs can be really good. So it's not like it's not like a ma big map. It's... Nice. Nice. More headshots. More headshots. More headshots. Nice. 
Just more headshots. Oh, can you climb up this too? Whoa! Yo! And finally, we just have to complete kills. We just went on shipment and play a hard point all the way through. And then with that, we unlock the gold. I feel bad. I spawned behind Don Juan. 20 bullets in a dream. Where are these guys? They're spawning this way, right? They have to be. I need shock. I need UAV a bit. Where's the next spawn? Bro, I play hard point on Shipman for God knows how many years. I have no idea where the points are. I have zero clue where the points are. Zero clue. I'm just like, it's gotta be somewhere here. Let me advance UAV real quick. Oh, oh wait, sorry, don't watch. I was a force of habit. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. But averaging 4 KD, that's definitely hacks. Yo, this build is sick. Not gonna lie, this build is sick. This build is sick. Where's the enemy? Freaking smokes. Can't see Billy squat. Yeah. This guy's pre-firing me through the freaking thing. Oh, I got beamed by a bot. Yeah, so as a base thing, this is how the gold one looks. Platinum one looks. Damascus one look. And then diamond. Diamond is clean. That's a lot of diamond. That's a nice one. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the gold one. The gold one's actually really good. Take a reload, show it off here. Really clean, to be honest. Show it to you guys in the sky. Be actually really nice. Like, not even joking. The gold one is like shiny. I don't know why. It just, it just feels so nice. All right, let's switch to the platinum. Here's the platinum. Not bad. It's not the best one. Could, it could be better, you know? Could be better, but take a look in the sky. It's actually really clean. The platinum, you know, obviously it's not the best looking camo we have here, but it obviously could be better. But yeah, I mean, the final one, we'll take a look at the Damask. Yeah, here's the Damascus. It's actually okay. I think the gold one looks the nicest because it shines the most, but we'll see when we, we look in the sky. Take a shot. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's that's nice. Hold on, we're looking to shade as well. Eh, I think I think if you look in the sky, it's the best perfection. That is just beautiful. It is beautiful. Also, keep in mind you do actually need to get full attachments, but I didn't want to talk about it because let's be real. Most of the time you're gonna be using the full attachments, so the 125 full attachment is a given. That's gonna be addition to the getting the kills and the long shots and all that stuff. And then we decided to use it in legendary rank, and uh, yeah, we did pretty well with the gun. So that was actually really nice. Good kill here. Let me just trophy some real quick. I knew they come up. There's a guy. There's a guy coming up on top, which I don't like because he's gonna he's gonna jump down. Nice. I almost potato those there. Good sir. I need hardline. Hard point identified. I want to get my UAVs or counter UAVs a little faster. That's what I need. Damn. Not the great spots here. Ah, oh, yoinkers. Oh my god, dude. Heads up. Enemy there you go. Nice two piece. Enemy 
Shock RC is coming. Good thing my teammates here. Oh my god. Bro, why are you shooting me? Gosh dang. My team is. Ugh. How is the counter UAV still up there? I wish I got hold here. There we go. Where are the enemies? I don't even know where they're coming from. They're coming from the front. Hard point contested. Uh, it's contested. The hard point. Hard point nice. Good UAV. Nice. Oh, that, that was a... I'm going upstairs. Oh, nice. I knew it's going to happen. I ran out of bullets anyway, but that's a persistent... We're already on the next point. Love that. Love that. Da -na 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 -na. Honestly, I don't really mind that. Oh man! Oh man, that gun was good. Thirty and four, yeah. I, I don't think I was on a nuke streak because I was like 14. Here you go. This is the build we're using. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the AMAX as well as this video style. I'm hoping that this video is going to be shorter than typical that we have, but I do enjoy doing it like that. It's kind of like a storyline and then we finish it off. But let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.